Hello everyone and welcome to episode 9 of my Armour 3 mod review. Today we'll be looking at the Halo mod. And as we drop in with our ODST drop pods, which I love, because ODST is my favourite favorite, favorite part of Halo. Out of all the Halo games, ODST is probably my favourite one. Probably an unpopular opinion, but ODST, so good. Anyway, this mod includes a load of weapons, a load of vehicles, and three factions that you can play as. Now, in the background there is also the JSRS sound mod and Blast Draw, because they are my two favourite mods and I use them for everything. Anyway, we've got a lot of ground to cover in this video, so let's get started. Okay, so the first faction we'll be looking at is obviously the biggest one, the UNSC. And we have these repurposed, re same models of the vanilla game, the Hemets with the different, the medical, the fuel, the ammunition, the bots, the transport Hemets. The, they're basically the same as vanilla, with just UNSC written on them. However, here we go, the Warthods. One of the most known vehicles in Halo, the Warthods. These are the unarmed variants. You can fit four people, including the driver in these. Two in the back, one passenger in the front and the driver. And these are the transport Warthods with the many passengers in the back. And they handle brilliantly with an incredible suspension on them, bounce around the big old handbrake here. Now, the Mongooses. They say work in progress on them. And mainly because the wheels don't turn and I think they're a bit off the floor. But they look nice and they sound nice as I'm sure you'll hear later. Now here we have the repair warthog. You'd notice it has all sorts of trinkets and spare tyre in the back to repair other vehicles. A more mobile repair truck than the Hemets. And then there's this funny looking thing. Not sure I've found a use for it at the moment. You can fit some people in the front on this as well, as well as the passenger seat and the back and the driver's seat. And then we come to the turrets. There are a few of them with this mod. There's the standard, you know, machine gun turrets. There's the mounted 360 degree turrets. Big old turret right here. There's the AA rocket launcher turrets. There's also another a different AA rocket launcher turret, this one here, which is mounted to water hods as well. You'll see in a minute. There's the gorse rifle. This thing is very loud. You have to play the mod to find that out. It is incredibly loud. And here is the ATGM turret that I didn't even know was a thing in Halo until this mod. And we move on to the cryopod. Which makes a very satisfying sound. And I thought maybe I could step inside it and close it and it would keep me inside. But I, I am inside. Oh, I've glitched out. Never mind. Right, that's a cryopod. Not entirely sure what it's there for, but it sounds cool. And it's probably there for ambience. Here's the ODST drop pods. They look really cool. I'll get inside for you and close the door. And look, it even has a camera that shows you. You, yourself. Yeah, that's, yeah. But there's no other camera. And it shows you what you drop from. But it's not in the game, so it's just a still image. Anyway, I'm pretty sure that camera is a camera that they use um, for the mirrors in a car. In a vanilla car. Anyway, ODST drop pods, really cool. I love ODST. Here we have the Warthods, the mounted MG Warthod, the ATGM Warthod that I didn't even know was a thing. The Gorse Warthod, which just bursts my eardrums every time I use it. And the AA Launcher Warthod. Pretty, like, they're really good. They're, like, they're, they're bouncing around, they're very good, they're easy to drive, and they're easy to shoot from. Now, these fins, I've also never seen these in Halo. But there are the APCs, and uh, they look like they're modelled on the Striker, and they look incredibly derpy. There's also a window at the back you can see inside, which I thought was pretty cool. But from the front, don't you agree, these fins look incredibly derpy. So I've gone ahead and got out the vanilla Striker you find in the uh, in the Tents DLC in-game, and comparing the two, the, the, the Halo ones look incredibly derpy compared to the vanilla one. And I feel pretty sure it's because they, they are pretty big for what they are. And they need to be a bit... So it's like the Fallout APCs. They're too big. All right, moving on to the tents. I love the tents. I especially love the Scorpion tents. I think they're called Scorpion tents in, in the Halo games. With the four individually movable tracks, they're really cool. All these vehicles come in different paint seams, including the black and different marine camo and stuff like that. This thing I'd never seen before. I think it's a Halo Wars vehicle. It comes with rocket pods on the top, machine guns, two huge cannons, 
that could maybe well be rail guns for all I know. They are humongous. And here we have the garbage truck. Yes, the elephant makes an appearance in this mod. I remember running around in Halo 3 with this thing. Oh, those were the days all those years ago. Good thing about these elephants is you can use them to refuel vehicles and you can drive a mongoose on them for what that's worth. You can also load small vehicles onto the elephant itself. So when you drive around, they don't move. So they're actually just attached to the elephant. Also, if you, ever, if you haven't seen an elephant before, it has an upstairs. You can put mounted MGs up here. It's a really cool fighting platform and huge and basically a garbage truck. Moving on, we have the Hornets. These things are really cool. You get the machine gun, you get your, your, your rockets, and you can have people on the sides of them. Really cool, really cool piece of kit. You come in different camos, different inscriptions on the side. This thing is a bit weird though. It's a Bumblebee life pod. I think it's an escape pod for one of those big UNSC frigates and ships like that that you see in the thumbnail of this mod. Moving on, we got the Sparrow Hawk, I think it was, with different variants and different, you know, a cannon and a cannon, and a rail gun and a cannon, you know, and machine rail guns and whatnot, everything, and different camos and all that. Another uh, plane I've never seen, another vehicle I've never seen from Halo, Must it looks like it's an RTS sort of vehicle, so probably like from Halo Wars or something like that. Anyway, the Sparrow Hawk, moving on, we have something bigger. But first, we have the Falcon, and it's unarmed variant, and it's armed variant, where it has a cannon on the front, and enough seats in the back for a fire team to deploy. But moving swiftly along, we have the famous Pelican. Ah, oh, these things are synonymous with Halo. They are just, when you think of Halo, you either think of Warthog, that Scorpion 4 trap tank, or Pelicans, or Master Chief, and some other things. But... Pelicans, in my eyes, are like, you know, when you see one, you instantly think of Halo. Right, I bet you ask, what's it like to fly? Uh, it's kind of hard, and it's kind of interesting, but the model, holy crap, guys, the model. It's so cool. The model on this plane, look, look at this, right, you'll see it's head off in a minute. The gear's down, you can see the gear at the back. It's got a cannon. It's also got rocket pods. But look at the oscillating... What does he call them? Oscillating thrusters, I suppose? It's so cool! And when you turn left and right, it turns different, the opposite direction to make it turn. But honestly, dude, it's so cool. Alright, let's show off the rockets. Super cool, dude. And off we go. Moving on. Right, so moving on, we have the next faction, the Insurrectionists. Sadly, there's no Covenant in this mod because this mod takes place before the humans met the Covenant. So there's just a rebel faction of humans and the UNSC humans and some civilians. But anyway, we have some Warthods and we have this weird APC Warthod we have it that just basically has a box on the back. And you get in and you're, you're, well, you're protected, I guess. It fulfills its role in being an armoured personnel carrier, but basically it is just a box on the back of a Warthod. Moving on, we have the same repair warthog. We have the three uh, warthogs. There's probably a lot of friendly fire going on between the rebel factions since there's no markings on these things except for like a red, a small red dot on the the gun shields of the, some of these things. This one hasn't got anything, but I suppose the UNSC doesn't use this. This looks really cool though. It looks like a Pac-40 from my World War II mod that we did recently. But yeah, there's just like a little tiny red dot on the gun shield that's supposed to distinguish if it's a rebel or not. This is basically just a reskin drone from the vanilla game, but I suppose they have to have it. And then here's just a reskinned Hornet, but this one at least looks pretty cool. It has the same guns and all that from the other Hornet. Yep, yeah, that's the Insurrectionists. Not much, but they've got the basics. Moving on. We have the Civilian Faction, which gets that forklift from Halo 3 that I remember mucking around in for a couple of hours. Sees Weird civilian cars, which I think I've seen from New Mombasa back in the day. But it was a long time ago, so don't quote me on that. And we have some nice painted water hods for the uh, off-road enthusiast. And the police vehicles, which is a police water hod and a police falcon. And they both look pretty cool. 
Now, this is the end of the vehicles. Now, we move on to the weapons and uh, uniforms you can find in this mod. Here is a selection of uniforms and weapons that you may find in this mod. Now, for your perfect loadout, you have to download the mod and try it out all the combinations. But here's a few combinations I found from ridiculousness to, to looking like you're a serious military guy. However, sadly, there's no women in this. Although, mod review coming soon. Stay tuned for that. Seriously though, the shotgun from Halo is one of my favourite weapons in Halo. That and the battle rifle. And of course, yes, you can play as a Spartan. Although it's a bit glitchy when you're trying to like change your uniform into a Spartan your armour. Anyway. Ah yes, I almost forgot about this. We'll need to go up higher, so I've got them back in the Pelican. And we need to go pretty high. Because it's the piece de resistance of this mod. Yes, there are ships, UNSC ships. Yeah, sadly it's only a Corvette. It used to be a frigate. I seem to remember there used to be a frigate in this mod, but I can't find it anywhere. I've looked in all the folders, I've unpacked the mod, but I cannot for the life of me find the frigate. It used to be a big old ship, like much bigger than this, what you'll see here. This is just a, Cor a UNSC Corvette, but they're still pretty big, as you'll see in a minute as we go explore. Now, unfortunately, this ship is only a static object, so it can't be moved like a normal vehicle. But with some useful scripting, you can move it gradually. If anyone knows where to find the frigate, I'd much, greatly appreciate in the comments below to let me know. But I've scoured high and low to try and find it. I think they, one of the modders left a while ago and took the frigate with them. But who knows? We've got to land this pelican in the hangar. And I'll be really careful because touching any of the sides means they blow up. And this is the third time I'm going to do this. But here we go. Right. I've done the first person with this. I'm not even... I'm just going to try and line up with the centre and bring the back around. And I'll be very careful. I might need to go third person just a bit to see if I get through the... No, no. I think we're fine. Yeah. Maybe a bit lower. I might hit the engines a bit further back at the back. And... Yep. Yeah. We're down. Cool. Now, before we explore this ship, the mod comes with a few different maps. They are... Anyway, that's about it for this mod. I'm going to leave you with footage of my candid reaction to walking around this Corvette for the first time and touching all its lovely buttons and messing around with it uh, after trying to find it in the files for an hour. Yeah, what a fun time that was. Never looking back at this moment. Anyway, the mods required for this is just CBA, like normal, and uh, I'll be back at the end of the video. Okay, so we made it in intact. Took a long time a couple of attempts to do that uh is this a lift it sure looks like a lift uh it is in fact a very glitchy lift i'm now floating oh have i bud i've budded this there's a pelican oh well they didn't put the ramp down for when i arrived what the what bastards Dude, what? <laughs> I, I wish there was an emergency stop button for the lift. Okay, right, let's explore the ship. I don't know, I don't know if I'm going to use this footage, but let's do it. This looks like it probably would have been easier to get a Hornet or a Falcon up here because there's like parking spots for them. And then these are stand clear. Does this open? Cargo door? Oh, my, the look of the glitchiness down there. Is that the seaweed from orbit? Although this technically isn't orbit, it's just the clouds or something. Oh, this is nice. Nice and uh, modern. What's this? Cryo Bay? Is this for the cryo pot? I should probably like kitted this out for the video, but it took hours to try and get, to get this out. This is just storage. Okay, cool. 
I guess if you fully like went into the editor and like kitted this out, it would look pretty insane. This is the infirmary. Is this the? That's the. Okay. So where? Where's the rest of the ship? Is this it? Is it just? Oh no, there's more doors. Middle deck. What an inventive name. I wonder if it's in the middle. Upstairs. More upstairs. I like the, like the floor. It's very shiny. Let's go to the upper deck. Start from the top. I'll work our way down. I think the, the bridge might be up here, hopefully. Storage. Yep, a big empty room. That sounds storagey to me. Another big empty room. It's just lots of storage in this place. The bridge. What's... Data room. Empty. Cool. No! Shut on me. Lift! There's a lift! There's a lift! What? Is this, oh, this is the bridge. Well, what's upstairs? What's above the bridge in the ship? The radio mast. Don't think there'll be a radio mast in the... Let's start on the lift. Well, that's the ladder. <laughs> oh, the lift actually works rather well. Although it's a bit frame droppy. The bridge. Although this looks like a bridge, except that it's like a, a house that you just moved into. And there's no furnishings. But yeah. Looks like a bridge. Very shiny floor. They clearly wanted to sell this model. Oh, is this the stairs for when you're feeling healthy? Right, we'll never be using these. Elevator, middle deck. Go back down. Security? Oh, is this a jail? Is this a j How do you get in? Jail one. Jail. What? Jail one slide? What slide? Do you drop people to their deaths at the bottom? It's like an evil hatch. Uh. You just open them all. Slide two? What does slide two do? It's just. What does this mean? Right. Okay. Some slides. Right, I've opened them all. I'm sure that'll come in handy one day. Middle deck. Officers' quarters. Is it a big empty room? Oh, yes. It's a big... Captain's big empty room. Uh, right. We're on the middle... We're on the top deck. Maintenance. Oh, is this that hatch we saw? No, stand the ladder. Come on. Open that. Oh, I bet this is precarious up here. Oh. On top of a UNSC... F was this Corvette? This is... Yeah, there's no, like, handrails. This is very precarious. <laughs> Just At least there's water under underneath us, but I don't think that would uh, help our landing from this height. So let's just go back on in can't can't fall down. Nice safety feature of invisible floor. They thought of everything in this craft. Let's close the uh close the hatch. Yeah, don't want that sunlight getting in. Well, what was that? Why am I floating? I'm parachuting down a ladder. Right. <laughs> Middle deck, let's go. It's the top deck, cool. It's very barren. Imagine like on a dedicated mission, this would look pretty cool. Oh, is where they get briefed. Cool, 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 cool. What's this? Slip drive? Slip drive? Wait, do they have slip drives? I, do, do, I didn't think UNSC got slip drives. I thought the Covenant had slip. I, only, I thought the UNSC Infinity was the only one with a slip drive. Because it was a... You know, a... The one that came after they killed the Covenant. So is anyone, is anyone a Halo expert? And let me know in the in the comments or something. If this if this anyone ever sees this footage, probably just recording this for no reason at this moment. Right, other side armory. Bet it's just an empty room. <laughs> Where's the canteen? There must be a canteen here somewhere. Oh, there it's a big empty room for the armory. Jim. Yep, my favourite place. Moving on. Engine room. Is there an actual engine? There is. There's actually a noise. I thought it was going to be silence the whole ship. There's actually a noise. 
apart from the planning noise. Cool. Right, what is in this ship? Oh, I thought it would be the Alpha engine, but apparently this ship is massive. This is Squad Bay 1. So, there's more Squad Bays than one? To keep the whole squad to fit. You probably get two squads in there, if you're honest. What's back here? Squad Bay 2. It's a big, big old room. You probably get more squads than one in there. Drop Bay! Oh, shit! Oh, dudes. Oh, I have to try this out. Oh my god. Come on. <laughs> I need to do this. Right, I'm in. Uh, how do you, how do you let it go? Oh, I'm parachuting. Oh no. Just get up, please. Thanks. Uh, must be a button around here somewhere. Right, so that's about it for this mod. Uh, there is a button on the wall around the corner to engage the drop pods. But thanks for watching the video. All the links for the mod and all that will be in the description down below. If you want to tell me good mods to take a look at and do a mod review on, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, like the video, subscribe, all that jazz. Thanks to all the new subscribers recently. Holy crap, there's been a lot. I've been at work and my phone's been buzzing. I'm looking, it's like, you've got a new subscriber, you've got a new subscriber, you've got a new subscriber. I'm like, holy crap, this is like the most subscribers I've had in recent, in like, ever. The most subscribers I've had, like, in a short period of time, ever. Uh, but, yeah, blows, blows me away, it really does. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.